Hi everybody, here is Christian from Teamwork Cast. And I'm Jackmate. And this is Netrunner Teamwork Cast. This is the 2nd of May uh, 2015. And these are the regionals in Dortmund, in Highlander Games Dortmund. Uh, and this is the finale of the top eight from that regional. So whoever wins this game becomes the regional champion. Yeah. And on the left we have Frederick. And on the right, I think we have Jen K, right? Jank. <laughs> I, I, I like to say it's Jank. Actually, it's Jan K, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but we're going to call him Jank. And he's playing indeed something that seems janky at first, which is just Kit. Yeah. Which Good is, old Kit. Which is nice because we had, like, I think we had two Kits actually in the top eight. Yeah. One which I. Seriously? Yeah. I played I against I, I, uh, uh, one player in the top eight. Um, huh. which, which was on, uh, not on the video table, on the other table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was against Prop Joe. Who Prop Joe was using also huh? Stealth, Stealth, Stealth Kit. I think it was mm. Stealth Kit. Yeah. So what kind of kit this is, you're going to see in a second here. And of course, Frederick on the left is playing HB. He is a very, very experienced HB player, mm. which I think we saw already before in uh, the previous game. And then we begin the game and we see... Uh, Frederick installing uh, an ice in front of uh, R&D and then he plays a hedge fund and a restructure, getting yeah, all the monies. Really good. And I think he has, has another restructure in hand. <laughs> yeah. So he's like big time money. E economy is not an issue right now. Yeah. But HQ is open. So probably has no agendas in hand. But that's what it sign signalizes. <laughs> I, gu I guess, yeah. So we have to maybe remind listeners, if you're new to this game, HB, the ability is whenever he, in the first time he installs something, uh, a card, he gets a credit. And then uh, the ability of Kit is uh, that um, the first ice she encounters uh, each uh, turn is uh, Code Kit. Gets Code Kit, which is a, gets code kit. a little bit different because... yeah. yeah. It is still like a barrier or sentry or whatever it is. Yeah. Additionally, it goes against code kit. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we see a test run for uh, um, uh, Magnum Opus. Oh, it's the first click. Which, which I know because I later looked at the deck is actually the only uh, economy that this deck drives. Not even <laughs> uh, hedge funds. Uh, sure gambles. That's yeah. ballsy. I, I think it's a smart move. Okay. And then we see a run on uh, the HQ, uh, but that is nothing of importance. That was just a green level clearance. And he didn't even use the Magnum Opus. It's just nope. kind of weird. Well, I mean, he scavenged in back in here, so yep. it's really just to have him there to... Um, I, I, I think it makes sense. If there's HQs open, you always get that free access. That's true. I, would have, uh, just, I, I think yeah. I would have just clicked for two credits, so I have four credits. So if I access mm. an, an NAPD, I could have sto uh, stolen that, it. That is a good, good point, but I don't think he didn't he didn't have to... He, 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 oh, yeah, he could have clicked once. Yeah, Just, just click once to, and to then get, run. To get to four, yeah. That would have been a good choice, probably. Uh, oh. Uh, huh. Like he, does, he decides to, to to ice up the remote instead of HQ. That's interesting. Like yeah. nothing to fear in, uh, on HQ. Yeah, I mean, even uh, if the, um, if um, Jank has uh, something like Vamp, he mm. doesn't have the money to Vamp. That's true. So there's really nothing right now that uh, that uh, he can do, and uh, so Jank just gets a lot of credits and discards a fan. I think he drew two cards and got four money. Mm. So he has to discard the fan. Uh, it's not, still not that rich. He has six credits against like twenty credits from uh, from Kefalopode, from <laughs> from Frederick. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I really appreciate that Jank uses a kit playmat. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's, I think that's that's a playmat I uh, I traded with him on the ah, Cologne Championship, sweet. which which I won there. Yeah. And, and I you, didn't, you didn't like it. I already had one uh, ah. from uh, from the Aachen uh, uh, Store Championship. Hmm. And I wanted to have the mat he got. <laughs> so it was like, ah. um, so it was a, you exchanged the mats. Yeah, I got the freelancer mat from him, uh, from him which yeah. I didn't have so, so far. And he, I gave him the kit mat, and he said, "Yeah, I'm like a kit fan." He didn't play huh? kit that tournament. He played like Lila. Yeah. And he said, "Ah, oh, uh, that mat <laughs> will make me try kit again." And now he's oh, in the so, finale. <laughs> oh, so that's how everything came together. Yeah. Um, back to the game, we see Frederick uh, in double icing that remote, installing something, advancing at once, uh, really putting out the pressure here. Um, yeah. And we see uh, Jank uh, installing clone chip, and that is a score. That's a beta that was, test. That was beta test. Do you think Frederick will trigger it? He oh, will. Yeah, he does. I think he has not that much much ice in it, so probably he expects to have some ice. Wow, 
No, none God. of these are. Uh, but he has none one click left, so he can install a Jackson. So that's perhaps what he does. Yeah, I think that's what he does. So to rescue um, agendas. Funny thing, I won a game in this tournament by having my opponent whiff on a accelerate better test. That was indeed a Jackson. Well done. Yeah, that's. Um, like the run on archives, and he has to use the Jackson to get rid of the the agendas yeah. he to, uh, put into archives, and he put all of, of the um, face down cards back yes. into R and D. So the Good game play. I won was uh, my opponent discarded seven points of agendas through Excel beta test. <laughs> that's 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 really really unfortunate. And the funny thing is, there wasn't the ice in front of uh, archives, but I was Leela. <laughs> so it was, it was unrest. So I bounced it and I ran yeah, archives. Yeah, nice. So so he he scored the uh, accelerated battle test, yeah. used it, and then yeah. you bounced the ice in front of archives to get into the seven points. Yeah, yeah. And it was like I just win the game right away. It, yeah. it, it was very early on. It was the first agenda he scored. It was pretty hilarious. At least the game is uh, uh, is then uh, d d don't last that long. That long. Yeah. So you have a lot uh, of time for the second or. But uh, my opponent was crushed, and I understand. If that happened to me, I would be, yeah. I would just drop from the tournament. <laughs> I always, I always think if you can't afford to have three agendas dropped into archives, you shouldn't use. Uh, <laughs> when beta did, test. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I guess if you have a Jackson, then you can do this. Yeah. But you know, one one of the these days, I will just play Hades shot afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So we see a R and D interface being installed, and I think he dieseled up and then yeah, played the he R and D interface. And he drew a lot because he discarded a lot right now. Yeah. First click on, on Frederick's turn is draw a card uh, after his mandatory draw, then draw another card. Oh. See a booth in hand. booth is good. And I think I saw an, a rotor turret as well. So let's see. Perhaps icing up HQ finally, or R&D because he has, uh, his opponent played the, the R&D interface and it's like pressuring. Yeah. Could be a could be good, good choice to put the, um, what's it called? Um, the, the toll booth onto uh -huh. R&D because it's a code gate and then the ability won't oh, yeah. affect uh, um, the yeah, ice it placement that much. Yeah, it would soak, soak up the ability of, yep. of, um, of, um, of, of Kit, Kit here. Yeah, but Kit is in a very bad spot right now. She doesn't have any kind of credits and Frederick is just high on money, 20 credits right there, no problems. Two points ahead. Yeah, yeah, it's it's really looking great. It's uh, Kit is really s struggling, um, but Kit really drops a, a personal workshop and yeah. puts a R and D interface on that personal workshop. So you lied. He has uh, some other economy in his deck, <laughs> which is uh, personal workshop. I which guess it's economy. It's economy. Uh, yeah, it's like one, one credit a turn. It's like um, how is it, how is it called? Underworld contacts. It is. Yes. True. Um, it's good, but you have to you have to use clicks to to get get the credits from it. So yeah, yeah. Um, but it's not no real money. That's true. I yeah, it's yeah. You cannot make it. You cannot make the money. You just <laughs> save money. Yeah. Sometimes you need you need the real money. <laughs> yeah. But of course, uh, I mean, if there's there's a personal workshop, you we can expect stim hacks to happen. So that would be a, a different way of economy. Yeah. Uh, but it's really weird. Like that's kind of like the, one of the the, uh, the questions. Whenever you, if you have a um, magnum opus, do you have the sure gamble? Because the sure gamble is basically, you know, as as, as economical as the magnum opus. Like if you uh, draw a card, it's a sure gamble. You play the sure gamble. You could have just clicked twice with the magnum opus. Yeah, it's like, but but they are so different uh, in the other aspects in the, of the game. Because for magnum opus, you need to uh, be. Uh, okay with having like five credits to pay for it and get nothing out of it you have yeah. to be okay with having two memory units being used just for that yeah. card and yeah. that's like a lot of yeah there's a lot of drawbacks to magnum yeah. for sure and for sure gamble you don't need really mu that much like five credits is something you want to have like almost always in the game and then you can just have four credits for one click when you have the card in hand yeah, when you have it in hand, yeah. I don't, know, I don't, I don't, I don't like these uh, like calculations. Uh, I know. You draw either. it, you play it. It's like two clicks. You draw like cards in the beginning of the game, and you use like cards to draw cards, like diesel. And yeah. so you cannot, cannot really uh, calculate like this. We see uh, the Frederick installing a Jackson yep. and drawing cards with Jackson, and we see. Uh, we see also Jank, like he discarded a lot of cards. I just saw him dropping two Magnum Opus. That's not, not something you want to draw early early game. You don't want to draw all your three Magnum Opi. And he discarded a, he discarded a Astrolabe, I think. Interesting, yeah. He didn't install the Astrolabe. I'm guessing he assumes that there won't be too many scoring servers. 
I think he has another uh, or maybe like this yes yes um, meanwhile we see Frederick installing a second uh, card in that scoring server we have to mm -hmm. assume that's um, uh, uh, Ash and then probably something that he will score very quickly D seriously prob seriously big problems for Jank yeah I, th I think I saw an, uh, a Caprice Nisa in his hand, so mm. that could be some influence he used. Mm -hmm. And perhaps it's like an Ash and Caprice server. It could be the, could be the oh, case. Oh, that's, that's, that's entirely possible that these are two upgrades in here. And wow, Jack I think, I think uh, Frederick now uh, actually drew six cards with Jackson in his turn. Wow. So he's really power drawing for that agenda, I am assuming. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, uh, we see a same old thing for Jank. Yeah. I think his last t turn consisted of taking six credits with making no opus and play the yeah. same thing. Now, now he really wants to catch up financially. He, want, he really wants to have the credits too. Mm -hmm. And he has all the time in the world. I mean, there is like a uh, R&D interface ticking off on his um, personal workshop. I have to correct myself. I think he draw, drew four cards and played a restructure. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's what he did. I think he's uh, you mean, really you looking mean, for the agendas. You, you mean Frederick. Yes, Frederick, yes. Yeah, 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 sure, Frederick drew four cards with Jackson out with his first two clicks and then played a restructure. But yep. he discards a lot of cards. <laughs> yeah, like, and also, it's, it's, I, it's, it's those credits, look at those credits. <laughs> it's like, that's hard to count right now. Yeah, <laughs> you, it's getting you problematic. You should have used 20, some five credits. Uh, 25, 20, no, wait a minute, it's 25. It's like 28? Yes, 28 credits, yes. So it's four lines or five credits and then another yeah. five line credits and then three. Which Test run, maybe we're going to see a breaker. What do you think? <laughs> Finally, yeah. <laughs> Could be the case. Let's see what he has. Oh, it's a, it's a oh, torch. Oh, it's a torch. Nice. Like the, uh, biggest, the best. The biggest breaker. Best breaker available. Big bad ass breaker. And then I'm assuming we're going to see soon a um, scavenge. Yep, there it is. That is a scavenge showing for the camera. Mm. Let's see if you have, have a run on R and D, perhaps. Could be the yeah, yeah it's a run on R and D because he has R and D no, interface. Yeah, like there's like nothing that will stop him now. Yeah, architect, architect breaking the architect for two credits he and the then putting the R and D interface for a third credit, and then he will see three cards, and oh, then it is a score, score, Vitruvius, and that's it. So. Even though he has no money, uh, he does apply a lot of pressure on R&D right now. Yep. And Frederick is really challenged to make those run taxing. Because seeing three cards from R&D every time, wow, this is going to be hardcore. Yeah, he has to like ice up right now. Yeah. I think the toll booth in front of R&D could have been really, really crucial. if He, sh he should have put, it, put, it, put that there if he has it still on hand. Oh, so I we think. see an NAPD installed in that scoring server. Perhaps like Advanced installing. ones. And then eyes on R&D? Yeah, yes. that's it. The the thing that kills me is that he still has a hedge fund on his hand. <laughs> but he has so much money, you don't need to play it. It's like no. some, some some mistakes I think newer players do a lot. They have like an economy operation in hand and they yeah. immediately play it. Yeah. You, sh you have to think about if you really need the money or if it's actually bad for you to have the money. In yeah. In some matchups, it's uh, it's really bad to have the money uh, in some situations because they can steal the money from you or <laughs> just or there's yeah. just more more important things to have right yeah, now. Right now, yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah. So what will Jank do about this? Uh, there's no way he can get this on APD. <laughs> First. Uh, yeah, because if, if he has like something like an, uh, another. Oh. oh man, just getting six credits and then doing the the stem hack on the on the on the remote. I think he has a farm fatal in in archive, so perhaps he uh, he uh, wants to install it with a clone chip, and then that that could yeah I remember that part, that part yeah so he um, pays two credits for the I, he will pay I guess two credits for yeah. the uh, architect. Well, is that what he does with the with the torch? And then I think if if Frederick raises the second eyes, um, Jan uh, will get the 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 femme fatale or something else. I, I don't know what he discarded. Perhaps he has something else something else in in the archives that he can. Mm -hmm. Let's see about that. Uh, Frederick is checking all sorts of eyes. He's checking his uh, archives. He's checking his hand. Mm -hmm. he's uh, not, uh, uh, perhaps uh -huh. he's raising an upgrade first. Perhaps Caprice. Yeah, it's Caprice. And it's a Caprice Nice. All right, so now we're playing the Psy game. So oh, this is he, he, he have to he has to discard the uh, he has to rest the the Caprice first. Like he can rest the eyes as well. After yeah, that. but but, but, they but don't. we are playing the Psy game. Yeah, so true. this is a, is a problem now. I remember this pro this this part where they're playing the Psy game. So if um, 
Jank wanted to get something with a clone ship, it's too late now. That should have done it before this. But there's there's nothing you can can get, I think. Or perhaps two credits for yeah. Frederick, zero credits for Jan. So the run is over. And, and now he does the clone ship thing. Oh no! Uh, let's see about that. Yeah, he tries it's too to. Late. <laughs> it's oh, too late. Oh, he does. Now. She shouldn't have died. The run is ended, so you can't, can't, cannot use it actually. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so that's like a mistake they made. And I, I think I think we're gonna uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna remind him about yeah. that. <laughs> but it's late in the tournament. Yeah, Every, it's late. everybody yeah. Uh, could have missed that. No. Yeah. Oh, another um, stim hack being discarded from the brain damage from the stim hack. Yeah. And then, what is he doing? And Wait, now there's a, now is this discussion. We are checking the cards. What what does the Nisei actually oh, say? Is there a window afterwards? Ah, uh, okay. And then we undo this. Ah, okay, okay. You actually saw that in the, uh, right. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. <laughs> That's good. Painful situation for for um, Jank. Yeah. Really not a very lucky run here, but he made uh, Frederick rest a bit of ice. Uh, Frederick uh, got high down from his high horse. From age twenty-eight money to <laughs> just fifteen. Just fifteen. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, Jank is also not really bad off money-wise. I mean, he has uh, seven credits now, and he can mm. always get more with a. Um, on on the the yeah. But it uh, cost him a lot of time, and yes. that this time uh, Frederick can use to. Um, um, to score the last agenda, I think he has three point agendas in his deck, and he has a really strong uh, scoring remote right now. Yes. Because he has, I think it's a Nash as well, and Ash and Caprice work really, really well together. So we see Jank getting eight credits, just like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and just like that, he's uh, almost on par. Hey, he's he's, he's, he's like, on par. He has like fifteen credits, and um, uh, Frederick only has twelve. So how the uh, how the how everything has shifted. So now suddenly, uh, the you know the power gradient has shifted completely, flipped around. Because now, of course, Jank has all the credits in the world. He can do something like vamp. Mm -hmm. uh, he can be incredibly aggressive about, about everything that's going on. You see the the token from the Femme Fatale still lying there on the it's remote. Still server. there. <laughs> yes, the, it's the it's the monument of the Femme Fatale that shouldn't be. Uh, so we see an install on the remote in a scoring server, and we see the hedge fund that we talked about previously. Yeah, so he did it all at once. It's like he takes three credits because he paid two for the install on the, for, from the ice, but got one back from the install. So he yeah. gets four uh, from the four credits from the hedge fund. He gets, th gets to the three, <laughs> yeah. which is kind of funny because if you don't know that. It's like, yeah, it's like oh, where, you where did you get the three credits from? <laughs> there is going to be angry comments about. <laughs> Oh, I thought no, they they see it. That oh, they removed the token. I'm, I'm a bit sad about this. This token was. <laughs> yeah. So we were, yeah, there's like um, of course uh, an additional ice on the scoring server, uh, making sure that uh, Jack can't r run the server. Yeah. Uh, but he must. He must. It's it's really hard. Even if you have a lot of money, it's uh, kind of like a. Um, uh, less than seventy thirty percent chance against Caprice Nisei to win. Yeah. I think perhaps it's it's like seventy thirty for the corp to win. Yeah, it's uh, the funny thing is like uh, neither as a corporation nor as a runner you're happy encountering uh, Nisei. As a corporation, Nisei is not safe enough to rely on her, mm -hmm. and as a runner, Nisei is like discourages you to run on something because it's like uh, I'm just gonna it may be now or for not. Mm -hmm. So not not just gonna not just not gonna try because if I lose, I will fall back financially. Yeah, perhaps the only solution that Jen could have in his deck is, is a vamp. If he has a vamp, he can yeah. like clear all the money from the corporation and then go into the server. But you need then you need to uh, have like uh, what's it called um, a sentry breaker yeah. to get uh, through the architect. Yeah, I, again, I, we have to assume that he still can choose to let the architect fire. Uh, I mean, uh, that's something you don't want to do. I know, I know. But <laughs> because it's and actually, it's, it's, you can't do that because uh, Frederick will get a credit from that if he installs something. And he has, if he has uh, a credit, he can use uh, Caprice Nisei again. You are absolutely right. Then at least he will get a 50-50% chance on the yeah. Nisei. Yeah. Um, right. So I think Jank is using uh, his Mango Opus uh, because he's way up credits-wise. Yep. Eight credits again. So... 
he chooses to let him score a three point uh, two point agenda if it if uh, it, uh, that it, that's it what he installed there a risky move uh, going to six agenda points oh. let him uh, letting Frederick go to six agenda points yeah but they're still thinking about something I don't know I, I really love that that in, uh, you know atmosphere in, in this finale because what the, the entire room was silent uh, okay. oh. it's, a, it's just that's what he was thinking about if he yeah. if he uh, should read that, uh, the donors campaign or not imagine his disappointment if he got <laughs> gotten through all of this stuff and it was just uh, <laughs> just uh, Adonis but if if you get through this actually mm -hmm. and you can kill the caprice and kill the ash that's yeah. something you already are happy about. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't. It's like the 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 fact that there is no agenda is just a minor minor yeah. setback compared yeah. to uh, in a grand scheme of things. And you have to think about uh, about it like this: if the scoring remover is like dead or destroyed, then you will get a, uh, get in again uh, yeah. if they want to score the agenda. So it's like scoring an agenda if you destroy the the upgrades in there. And personally, I'm a, I'm a, I am a fan of running on scoring servers before there's agendas in there. Yeah, of course. Uh, because d usually uh, corporations are not ready yet. They don't have the, all the pieces assembled. Yeah. Uh, so you, it's easy to disassemble those servers. And corporations are not willing to invest too much money into those runs. Yep, that's true. And, oh, and then we, we see the vamp. There's a vamp we expected. I mean, that was... We we saw this coming from a mile away. This is so clear. Just just one ice on H our HQ. There's just... And of course, Jank um, using his, uh, his magnum opus to get up all the monies. Mm -hmm. Uh, Frederick does a good job, though, uh, saving some of his money, so yeah, he throws he away... Yeah, he all he can before he yeah. can give it. It's a good idea to rest the, the um, Ash, ash yeah. too, because then at least uh, he uh, will tax Jank even more. And uh, he has to uh, kill, um, like uh, win the trace yeah. from the Ash first, before he can uh, trash the Caprice. Yeah, so it's like additionally two credits more. Yeah. And uh, we'll get three back two, from the yeah, from the donors campaign next turn, I think. It's two credits more because he spent two credits, so it's two credits less than Jank has to pay for the vamp. But uh, Jank at the end has to pay four credits yep. to win the trace. So it's like the the, the uh, no the the delta between the two is just two credits. <laughs> so he's thinking about how much to pay. Yeah. I think he pays the eight credits. Yeah, yeah. the eight credits. And I really like the um, that there is two Adonis campaigns going on here, yeah. which will <laughs> really allow uh, Frederick to return from this from this yeah. attack. Yeah, right. I didn't I didn't see the the second Adonis campaign actually. Yeah. I just noticed that he has a second one. Nice. And fr and uh, we see Jank actually uh, running on that remote server. He does install the fem, finally. Uh, to I'm guessing he will fem the. What will he do? Will he fem? I think he uses the farm to to break yeah. the ar architect. Oh no! He, he, no, he, he actually fems the ar architect. He because he's running out of money yeah, fast. He, he just he just saves two credits. I think yeah. that that was a bad. Oh, uh, perhaps he, he calculated that. I, I think he needs it. So the trace fires. He needs to pay four to get through the trace. He's left oh, with two credits. That's he's, bad. That's bad. That's if he has really to pay bad. four, he has only two credits left. So yeah. he can only trash the caprice. Yeah. That's bad. You can't even trash uh, the ash. Trash yeah. the ash! <laughs> yeah, and you really have to trash, like, all, all, all that is in the server. Yeah. On the other hand, like, the fem install was very crucial here because it will allow him to get into uh, R&D in the future. Mm -hmm. Yep. So what happened here? He just uh, uh, exchanged the five credits. Ah, okay. From... And I think he trashed the Caprice instead of the uh, instead of the Ash, which I think is the right call, because yeah. Ash can be, be uh, uh, beaten by yeah. just money. Especially now that he has the Magnum Opus, he can get money faster than yeah. uh, than uh, Frederick does. At least uh, you know he can keep up with the Adonis campaigns. Mm. On the other hand, it's it's like really hard for Kit to make two runs because ability only mm -hmm. works on the first run you make. So perhaps. Yeah, perhaps Ash is actually like uh, could be worse, but I don't know. It's like Caprice is so so random. Sometimes yeah, you get through it, and you think like, oh, okay, just pay one credit to Treasure, and it's like nothing. And sometimes you like do six yeah. or five, seven runs, and you don't win the the, the side game, and it's like, yeah. <laughs> oh my you god, hit your head it's against too strong. The wall Caprice, he <laughs> says, like, I want to get in. Why? Why? So first RNG. And First and second click is blue level clear, so he gets up more yeah. money. It's like nine credits again. And some cards. That's a super fast recovery by Frederick. I wonder if he had like those um, economy cards on hand just just for this situation. And there's ice in front of the second Adonis campaign. And mm -hmm. it's like it's, it's pretty surprising that Jen didn't run on archives yet, uh, because they're like 
I don't know, five, six, seven unknown cards there. I you think these might be agendas? Yeah, sure, because there's a, sec a jacks on the table and you just got a mm -hmm. lot of cards. So, oh, there's an NAPD there. There is an APD. Oh, and he can't score it. It's like he doesn't... Ah, okay, okay, okay. He can't score it because he has no credits. Yeah. <laughs> so he will use the Jackson when uh, when he runs with enough credits. So he gets uh, four credits? Yeah. And last click. Run what on, will run you on do? archives again to get that. I, I would run on R&D, man. Yeah, run on, running on R&D is like, could be too expensive. Oh, he trashes the Adonis. Oh, okay. So huh. Frederick doesn't, re doesn't rest the eyes there. Yeah. yeah. So making sure that Frederick cannot recover as quickly. But he, I think 13 credits is plenty. I don't think he needs much more. For the well, last. you know, if, if Frederick wants to score now, he would have to trash the Adonis, uh, second Adonis himself. Yeah, that's true. And it's uh, maybe Jan can um, do like a... A second vamp? Uh, no, I, I was thinking about... Uh, um, Stimhack. <laughs> Stimhack, yeah, that's true. He used the same old thing for something. Yeah, that's true. I don't know for what. Maybe uh, it was... Maybe the vamp? It's, uh, no, no, the no. Vamp, he, he did take some credits. Hmm. All right. Perhaps it got Ooh. trashed. Oh, perhaps it got trashed because he's Oh, that's tagged. possible. That's possible. Um, all right. So we see an install in that small server uh, uh, outside, and we see an install of an upgrade in the scoring server. So the Caprice is she's back. One or oh, second Ash could be uh, as running well. on oh, HQ. Oh, three points getting again, three uh. points. Oh. So now the run on archives make may, makes him win or <laughs> let yeah. Frederick use the Jackson. So perhaps it's running again. Jackson. Oh man, yeah. nothing. Now you can actually run on uh, R&D with a thumb without using your ability. So perhaps he should have run first on R&D or something like that. Yeah. That's uh, true, yeah, because then uh, if he runs on HQ, uh, he, the ability gets soaked up by yeah. the by the rotor turret. And running on R&D could have won him the game. Yeah, definitely. So now it's really like, wow, it's down to the wire. Like, this is really exciting now. Yeah, he drew cards with Jackson, so he, I think he's, he's looking like for another ice for HQ, or yeah, <laughs> perhaps another agenda he can score, but p probably oh okay, he put a put a, put an agenda on or a card in the remote, which could yeah, be we don't know what it is. We assume it's an agenda. <laughs> mm. I mean, it's safer in a scoring server than it is in his hand. Yeah, for sure. We're running on the uh, R and Ds, there is a um, Eli, which only costs two credits because yeah. of the ability of Kid, and then he pays another four with Femme Fatale to break the architect. He's four cards. That's yeah. really good. One. That's nothing. Two. And uh, it's a score. Yeah. And this is game over. Game well over. Played, well, well done. Played. Well played, both of you guys. So we see Jank becoming the regional champion here with a really turbulent game. Man, this looks. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I think that's his hand, right? <laughs> or, Lots no, of no, SMCs. No, no, no. It's like the the the, uh, the remainder of his stack. It's mm. like he he was looking for the SMCs and they were all on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> so even though he had like such so much um, so bad luck, he uh, managed to survive. Really well yeah. done. Uh, I, I thought it was very yeah. swingy. Like at the beginning, it seemed like uh, like uh, he was going under. Mm. Uh, but uh, he recovered so 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 well, especially even though he had like this weird stem hack run where um, yeah, things, it looked like he made a huge mistake. Yeah, it looked like a real blowout because yeah, lost so much credits and didn't even get through. Wow, Kit given mm. I think there was another mistake. I I don't know really, but I think the mm -hmm. mistake was made by uh, uh, Frederick. Mm -hmm. He should have iced up more. I think. I think so. Two yeah. Ice, two eyes in front of HQ and three eyes in front of R and D with like a tall boost in there somewhere. Yeah, would have kept uh, Jank out. Yeah, I wonder if um, because I, I'm assuming Frederick must have known that there is something as a it's like vamp kit. I mean, you yeah. just know that that eventually you will get an attack on HQ. Maybe he was waiting for a Chrisium Grid or something. I don't know. I don't know if he if he placed that, but um, perhaps, yeah, perhaps he was looking for that. That's yeah. that's true. He, he drew a lot of cards. He drew really yeah. 
really much cards. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or he, he thought, I, w I want to win early because yeah. Magnum Opus will out economy in the late game, so I have to find my last agenda. So that could be the reasoning behind his Yeah, his we saw that drawing. at some point he drew the three-point agenda, so I was wondering like, if he just drew the three-point agenda and the vamp came like, in the most um, unopportune moment for him, like he would have dropped it next turn. Or but then again, I think he could have still scored it afterwards. It's mm. like... I don't know. He had, he had like six credits still after the vamp from the from the uh, campaigns. Yes. And from the from the Adonis campaigns. Yeah. Perhaps I don't know. I don't know. Perhaps perhaps it's he saw. I need yeah. one one more turn, and my my eyes on 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 HQ is not rest. And that was, yeah, what he thought. What what he was thinking there. I don't know. We don't know what he, they had on their hands. We don't know uh, what uh, what ice they were installed here. Sadly, there's yeah. so many things we don't know. And often, like when, when after an entire day of playing Netrunner, your thoughts uh, are <laughs> com based on completely different assumptions that you are when afterwards when you're watching yeah. this on a, on a video. Everybody who, who played a long Netrunner tournament now says, <laughs> "Yeah, the, the brain fry is real. The brain fry is real." Yeah. Uh, all right. So uh, again, we have to remind our listeners that you, uh, um, Jack, mate, you wrote some beautiful. Uh, tournaments, uh, beautiful articles at Netrunners HQ, right? Mm -hmm. I, I actually wrote one tournament report on there, oh. so it's not that untrue <laughs> or uh, false. <laughs> yes, all right. So uh, articles, including tournament reports. Netrunners-HQ.de is the address. It's in German, sadly, uh, or <laughs> luckily. <laughs> yeah, perhaps in the, in the future, perhaps I will write in English. It's not yeah. like I cannot write in English. I prefer the German language, but if I can reach more people, perhaps I will write in English too. <laughs> yeah, that I would enjoy that. Um, all right, so this is it from this uh, Dortmund regional. And I think this is the last regional we're going to she on our uh, podcast. I think next uh, games are going to be regular GNKs or uh, the Nationals, of course. No, wait a minute. I was lying. There's going to be a regional, but it won't be from Germany anymore. Okay. You, you were going to the Netherlands or yes. Belgium? Yes. And we're going to see how this panned out uh, a completely different meta because obviously this yeah. was, um, you know, the Valley was legal yeah. and uh, the next tournament is going to be a completely different meta. So let's see about that. Yeah. It was a great pleasure of having you on, on the show. Yeah, it was great to make uh, to do this with you. <laughs> All right, sweet. So we will leave you guys and let's see. Uh, we see each other on the next tournament. We have been, and always will be, hacking the planet. Hacking the planet. Hacking the planet. Shut up and get in the car. Shit on me. This episode of Netrunner Timor Cast was created with a generous support from our listeners. If you enjoy the show and you can't get enough Netrunner videos, please check out our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash hacktheplanet.